So I don't have much of a budget when it comes to filmmaking. Um, like I have a budget as in basically nothing. Um, but what I mean by that is that uh, I don't have money to spend on a budget. So means that I have to get creative with stuff, which I love doing. Um, but also means that I buy a lot of cheap stuff. So I bought this lens um, a little while back because my friend uh, Jason Lynch, um, links down in the description and here, um, was it, is it here? Was it here? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. Um, <laughs> um, he's a great filmmaker. Um, he uh, has the same camera as me and he got this lens, this, um, CCTV lens off of eBay for like what 13 bucks or whatever um, and he was showing it off and I you know, thought that was kind of cool and it came with the adapter for micro four thirds sensors for this camera especially it said um, but when I got it um, last year the adapter didn't fit it's I think it was for it's like one size too big basically um, so the inside ring of the adapter would fit on the inside of the camera at the biggest, but the actual notches were on the outside, so it just didn't work. So I finally got around to it, dug it out of the old camera bag, and um, now it looks like this. Now this is not what the lens actually looks like. Let me show you what it actually looks like. <laughs> this is so far my smallest lens that I have. Um, it is a little um, Fujian TV lens, um, 35 millimeter f um, 35. So it's it's kind of a ridiculous little lens because I don't know if I don't know if this is just because I didn't do it correctly, but when I finally made the adapter and actually was able to use this on the camera, it is amazing. There's very few lenses that I straight up like fall in love with besides of course my like my prime uh, lens, which is like, I love this thing so much, but it is a Pendex lens. So it means that uh, using this adapter, um, this adapter, means that uh, without a focal reducer or whatever, means that it's like two times zoomed in, um, which sucks. But like I said probably before, there is workarounds to it, and uh, you can definitely get some really neat cinematic things out of it. Again, it's a challenge to work with this, but uh, I like a challenge. So this little lens is actually really good at macro and picks up the slightest bit of light and turns it into a lens flare. It, it's kind of amazing. Uh, I'll show you some like test footage of it uh, after the video. But what I did was it came with this little come on um this little ring, this little ring inside of this, and uh, it basically is like an extender. And I took this lens cap. I bought a bunch of not lens cap body caps for the camera. Um, so I could easily swap them in and out if I lost mine and I drilled a hole through it and screwed this in and then super glued it on so it won't come off and now this is actually this is actually the size of my camera's uh, mount and, uh, and it just screws on I have my phone down there monitoring but it screws onto the end because this is a screw um, mount so it's meant for like a like a security camera or whatever um so then you just screw this screw that on and now that mounts to the camera now it's really small and kind of looks ridiculous on the camera because it's so tiny but one neat thing about it is the aperture on this thing is really amazing it's like i don't know if you can see that But what actually, the aperture in this thing is like 
perfectly round, which gives you some really neat bokeh. Um, like, it's even it's even better than my my uh, my prime lens. Um, And my prime lens is not declicked, um, but I don't really care. Um, it's it still works. Um, this little lens, on the other hand, is well declicked, but I don't think it ever even had the possibility to be clicked. Um, and then there's a little adapter for it, whatever. So, because not many, I, I don't know about any places that will sell an ND filter or something like that for 35 millimeter lens. Um, so this is a little adapter that, uh, you can see that, that takes it from 35 to 50 and that just screws on the inside right up there. And now that's my lens. Um, it's, it's nothing crazy, but this is like a really neat um, creativity lens because you can do amazing macro stuff as I will show you at the end of the video. And the lens flows it picks up is just like bizarre because it's like my keyboard has a backlight in it and it picks up that light and just like pff, spins it around and there's your lens flare and throws it in your face. I'm just like, my prime lens doesn't do that. Like it's it's really neat it's a unique lens but that's kind of what i like working with um as to equipment because all of my heck what what i'm using right now is a setup like i have two work lights right here another work light right there the stand's broken so i'm managed to somehow get it there's a music stand right here with a microphone on it like i'm using a a joby gorilla pod i like strung it around the pole so it would hold it correctly. I could pay money and buy the proper connector for it, but I don't have money to spend on it. So, you know, but that's another story. <laughs> um, so I thought this was really interesting. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to this lens down in the description. If you are doing like, I think this would be great for, um, well, photography and video if you want to get amazing macro shots on the cheap this thing's like i don't i think it's like 13 bucks on ebay right now i'll leave links in the description to where you can find one uh for us and canada and um and yeah uh it really is like another point proven that like you don't necessarily need to spend a lot of money to to make uh amazing videos um it should be pretty much good proof, um, solid proof for any filmmaker that doesn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars on big equipment, and yet you still see them making amazing films, like Jason Lynch. Um, he's using same camera that I have. It's like a six hundred dollar camera. He's using the kit lens with it, and the short film that he just put out is amazing. Um, there's so many people that make amazing stuff. Um, I don't know how to list them all. Um, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on your equipment to make really good videos. Um, so this was a little bit of an update video. thought I'd fill you in. Um, I was really stinking psyched when I figured this out last night. And started playing around with it. I was like, okay, I really need to make a video about this. Um, sorry, the videos have been gone so long. Um, I kind of been in like a, I guess you would call it like a creative slump. Um, maybe it's something to do with winter. I don't know. Looks like winter's finally over. Um, thunderstorm outside right now as we speak. But uh, I love thunderstorms, so it makes me happy. Um, but hopefully videos will be coming back. Um, I want to possibly do a couple more cinematic montages or cinetages actually um, if you're interested in those uh, let me know and that will kind of give me motivation to go out and film them um, as not that always says um, go make something I'll see you guys in the next video over now
That was lame. Here. My lens is holy crap. I didn't want to. Can't see me. Not here. Thank <music> you.